Hello everybody and thanks for the chance to present our findings on the multiparametric evaluation of sex dimorphism in the song of the Indris. We know that some kind of sex dimorphism is, com is common in many animal species and differences may include secondary sex characteristics as weight or chromatism. For example, difference in size between the sexes is a typical se secondary sexual characteristic where males can be bigger or females can be bigger. But coming to primates, sex dimorphism in body size is primarily linked to anthropoid primates, and most of the strap shrines, lemurs, and lorises are monomorphic. We decided to focus our attention on a monomorphic lemur species, the Hendry. Hendry live exclusively in Madagascar and are part of a restricted group of primates. We call them singing primates, uh, and we can find the Hendry's gibbons, tarsiers, and calicibidae. All these species are producing long modulated songs and in the case of Fendries, they live in the eastern rainforest of Madagascar in the small monogamous family groups composed of two to six individuals. Usually a group consists of a reproductive pair and the offspring. Uh, each social uh, group occupies and actively defends an exclusive and stable territory, and mainly using songs to advertise its occupancy. These uh, long modulated songs can be heard at several kilometers away from the meters, and uh, Indri songs uh, uh, can be distinguished in three different types. The so-called cohesion songs that are given when members of, so of a social group are dispersed in the territory. The advertisement songs that are given every day to advertise the position of the group within its own branch. And the territorial encounter songs that are given during vocal fights when uh, uh, neighboring groups are meeting at the boundaries of their own branch. Because groups are not meeting each other very often, uh, and when they meet, encounters are only happening uh, within neighboring groups, we suppose that songs are essential in regulating the spacing of the different groups in the forest and may mediate formation of the new pairs. For the purpose of this study, we wanted to understand how sex information is encoded in the song. Of course, the role and extent to which such difference can be detected in non-human primates vocalization have been discussed for decades. And in the present study, we summarized the, info the results concerning sex differences and flexibility of the vocal output that we derived from the analysis of data collected over more than 15 years. And we had two main questions, uh, which parameters can be useful to identify the sex of the middle and what about the development of vocal sex dimorphism? We studied animals uh, in uh, uh, four different forests, Mantidia, Mitsinzu, Analamitsutra, and Merumiza. We studied 12 groups in between 2005 and 2009, and Mantidia, Mitsinzu, and Alamazutra. And then uh, from 2009 to 2018, we studied nine groups in Merumiza. We concentrated on the advertisement song, and the advertisement song is a complex sequence of utterances given by all adult and subadult members of a group and um, in the form of a chorus. And the advertisement song always starts with rowers uh, that are harsh sounds given at the beginning. And then there is a series of modulated, uh, frequency modulated, uh, units that are given, as I said, by all animals and that can, may overlap or not during these uh, emissions. And uh, at the very beginning we can uh, recognize the long notes and then uh, single notes that are given out of the phrases, and then uh, the so-called ascending phrases with the units in the sending starting frequency, and uh, we, we may have uh, phrases uh, consisting of uh, two elements, uh, three elements, or four elements. We also have uh, phrases of five and six elements, but they are rare. The acoustic analysis we've done was uh, uh, at first concentrated on rhythm. So as a proxy of rhythm, uh, we measured the within phrase in the onset interval. Then we measured the between phrase in the onset interval. And then we measured uh, 10 other temporal uh, uh, and uh, 20 other spectral parameters. I'm not getting into the details because these data are already published. 
We also calculated the number of descending phrases given during the song, the duration of the whole song, and the contribution of uh, uh, each individual to the songs in terms of uh, duration, and then the cumulative phonation, so the duration of all the units given during the song. Coming to the results, uh, let me say that uh, at first we wanted to understand whether phrase units, the number of units in the phrases were dimorphic in between males and females, and we found no statistical difference. But we found that males uh, were given longer phrases, so duration of the phrases was always longer in males. We then analyzed the uh, the song in detail by recognizing the different unit types that it, we could identify in the song and by doing the analysis by each of the unit types we recognized we found that for, in three cases there were types that were showing a dimorphic uh, uh, pattern in between males and female in all these three cases males were providing longer units compared to females. They were the long notes, the first unit of the descending phrases of two elements, and the first units of uh, the, the, the descending phrases of three elements. We also analyzed whether fundamental frequency of these units was dimorphic in between males and females, and we found a, ten a tendency of males producing our fun higher fundamental frequency, but the difference in between the fundamental frequency of males and females was not significant. We also considered the rhythm, and we found that the rhythm of these units changes significantly between phrases of different duration and the sexes, where males were showing longer within phrase IOI for all the intervals we identified. Moreover, we found that females showed a significantly higher variation in the interonset intervals between their units and phrases compared to males. And this sexually dimorphic behavior suggested that females' interest vocal behavior can change more flexibly in response to cover sites and other external factors compared to what happens in males. We've been also interested in understanding whether there were changes during development. So we took the youngsters that we could follow off at birth, and it took a lot of time to, uh, to measure these, parameter, these parameters and to have a good sample to measure these parameters onto. And we found that the temporal features showed different development trajectories between males and females. And this temporal feature were the duration of units, the phonation, and the between phrase IOI. In all these three cases, you see that females are decreasing over the first four years while males are increasing. The contribution to the songs shows the opposite trend, but again, the opposite trend is also between males and females. Males are providing a longer contribution at the beginning and then they decrease, and females are providing a shorter contribution and then they increase. Let's dis discuss these results. The interest song has the potential to inform about the sex of the mithrid long distance. And uh, this result strengthens the hypothesis that songs mediate the formation of new groups, of new couples, and may advertise the resource holding potential to neighboring groups. The encoding of sexual information is mainly into the temporal parameters of the song. And these temporal parameters are providing uh, con specifics with, informa with information about sex. So we think that animals listening to the song from uh, another area in the forest may understand how many males and how many females are in a group and may some way understand whether one of those males or those females is uh, uh, available to form a new pair at some time during their early life. We also found that changes during development are essential for radical sex dimorphism. And we found that uh, temporal properties of the Indian songs, again, temporal properties and not special properties, change dramatically during ontogeny. 
and follows opposite, opposite trajectories in between males and females. And uh, uh, for the first time, we are providing quantitative data that are now submitted in the paper that uh, contains the result that I showed before uh, on a singing primate. Uh, that on singing primates were mainly anecdotal. There were very few studies on very few animals. Animals. In this case, uh, we collected that over many years, but we got uh, this number of animals uh, to analyze uh, in this uh, uh, in this perspective. And with this, I want to thank my uh, co-authors: uh, uh, Daria Valente, Chiara De Gregorio, Valerio Torti, Giorgio Binucci, Teresa Raimondi, uh, Rosemarie Randian Arison, Filippo. Karugati, Lungo Miaritsua, and Christina Giacoma. And I want to thank you all for your attention. Please, uh, if you have any questions, uh, just send me an email at marco.gamba at unito.it or please use the, the time slot for questions that uh, we got available right now. Thanks, everybody, and uh, hope to see you in person sometime soon when uh, the COVID-19 will let us do that. Thank you.